Could you introduce yourself and tell us about your role within grassroots football? Hi, I'm Gordon. Um, I have spent nearly 15 years as a photographer at various grassroots clubs in the Greater Manchester area and currently spending my time with Village Manchester. So could you tell us a bit about your photography journey? Yeah, I, I, I started at school um, and although I love football, I'm useless football. I have two left feet and I have really poor eyesight. And so I ended up being called on by the, the PE teachers to do lots of photographs and what have you. And from there, my photography began to move, particularly into sports. Now I've covered a whole range of sports, basketball, badminton, swimming, um, uh, martial arts and so on. Um, but it, eventually it was football that I really began to settle in. Um, I always loved watching football and when I stopped watching football um, I contacted the local grassroots team to do some photographs for them and spent six years working with Rochdale Town Football Club until they f unfortunately folded and from there I've worked through several other clubs in Greater Manchester doing um, match day photos. That's great, uh, so why is it important to have clubs like Village Manchester in the community in Manchester? I think what's really important about Village, apart from the fact they're just a really nice group of guys, is that um, it's important that the gay community is seen and it's important that it is out there and part of the football world. Um, it's wonderful to see so many professional footballers starting to come out and so on. But I think we also need to realise that there's a lot of amateur footballers there. Um, and there's also other people in football as well, you know, there's administrators, there's refs, dare I say there's photographers who are also gay and we need to accept those people and um, use and, and appreciate their involvement in the game. Uh, so you've touched on it a little bit there, but why do you give up your time for, to help Village Manchester? I've heard that you work entirely for free and provide the players with as much to, like, images as possible. So why do you do this? Well, first of all, I enjoy it. And I, I think that's um, a key issue. Um, there was a discussion on, on one of the Facebook groups for amateur photographers recently about some photographers and they were saying that they've had mental health issues and they found that it really helped with them. And there was a lot of us who found that, that it is relaxing and something that we enjoy doing. Um, but I have loved, I love football. Um, and this is in some ways a way of, of giving something back. It's a, it's a way of, of providing something in return for all the hours of pleasure that I've got from watching football. Unfortunately, when I'm at a match, I rarely get a chance to actually see a match these days um, because I'm busy concentrating on what I'm doing. But the atmosphere is still there. Uh, fantastic. So, um, how important is it to ensure football is inclusive for everybody and how do Village Manchester champion this? Well, I think it really is important. As I said, there's a whole host of, of people involved in football that, that need to rec be recognised. Um, if we want an inclusive game, if we want to involve as many people as football, if football really is for everyone, then it needs to demonstrate that it's for everyone. And so it needs to celebrate um, all sorts of communities. It's not just a day community, it's, it's um, people of different ethnicities, um, it's the women's game, it's a whole range of, of, of areas that, that we need to celebrate and involve. And one of the things I think that's great about Village is that um, they do play in the Gay League, but they don't just play in the Gay League. The majority of their teams are in the standard leagues that, that exist in, in Manchester. Um, and that's fantastic. It's part of and embedded within the community.